So gaming hardware is getting ridiculously expensive and that is just how life is going to be from now on. Thanks for watching and I'll see you. So Lenovo has introduced a new line of gaming laptops called LOQ or LOQ and these are supposed to have some banging hardware for the buck while still having minimal compromises. The model that I am reviewing today comes with an RTX 4050 but you can also get a 3050 or a 4060. I decided to review this model in the middle because the other variants were already taken by other reviewers. Hey guys, I am Siddharth and let's check out if you should lock in on the Lenovo LOQ. The design of the lock is quite similar to their Legion series of laptops with these nice looking aqua accents but there are some differences when it comes to the materials as this is a mostly plastic chassis with some flex which still weighs 2.4 kilograms. The screen is a 15.6 inch IPS panel which runs at 144Hz for smooth gaming and it also gets decently bright at 350 nits. The color gamut coverage is 45% of NTSC which is around 60% of sRGB color space so the colors are not going to be nicely saturated or accurate but just for gaming purposes this is fine and the viewing angles are of course good as this is an IPS panel. There is a higher end variant available that has a 1440p 165Hz panel with a 100% sRGB coverage. The lock comes powered with AMD Ryzen 7000 series processors and both the Ryzen 5 7640HS and Ryzen 7 7840HS have Zen 4 architecture with 6 or 8 cores. The GPU choices here are an RTX 3060, 4050 or a 4060. RTX 4050's performance has been quite impressive on the ultra settings as we got really amazing results in the esports games with 330fps in Rainbow Six Siege and even AAA games on ultra performed well with God of War and Borderlands 3 at 80fps, Horizon Zero Dawn at 130 and Elden Ring at its max locked frame rate of 60. The thermal system of this laptop also performed very well and let the GPU maintain its boost clock with decently low temperatures. The 4050 on my variant has a 95W TGP and it comes with a MUX switch with advanced optimus. So even though the 6GB VRAM can make you a bit worried about the performance of the RTX 4050, I think that it has performed really well with some demanding games and the VRAM could become a limitation in a few years but at least for now, the GPU performs well and I am not sure if the 6GB VRAM will become an issue at 1080p in the future but you can get the 4060 variant with 8GB VRAM if you are super worried about this. It does have 16GB of DDR5 RAM which is going to be enough for all kinds of games and you can have a total total of 2 M.2 SSDs here with my unit coming pre-installed with a 512GB Gen 4 SSD. The keyboard in a typical Legion fashion feels nice and tactile with large full sized arrow keys and a number pad and it is also backlit with two levels of backlight. The touchpad also works as you would expect with good palm rejection. The laptop comes with a 1080p webcam and this is what it looks like and you should also be able to hear how the microphones on this laptop sounds. The webcam has an LED indicator near it and it also comes with an electronic switch so if you slide it to the left you can disable the webcam. On the left, we have a 10Gbps USB-C port which supports display port out and charging along with a combo audio jack. Then at the rear, there is an Ethernet port, two USB-A 10Gbps ports and an HDMI 2.1 port. Finally at the right, there is the electronic switch to disable the camera along with a USB 2.0 port which you can use for your mouse. The downfiring speakers on this laptop are kind of average as it does get loud without much low end so for watching videos it will be fine. The lock comes with a 60 watt hour battery and in my Gunda streaming test on YouTube I got 7 hours of playback on Optimus mode so it may touch the 9.5 hour playback mark that Lenovo claims when it only has to playback video and this battery life is quite decent for a gaming laptop. The supplied 170 watt charging brick will add bulk to your laptop bag but it also charges the laptop up to 80% in 1 hour. So the price of this variant of the Lenovo lock is around 1 lakh Indian rupees and I think that it is pretty decent for the hardware that you are getting. Even though this is supposed to be an affordable laptop, there haven't been any serious compromises that I could notice and frankly, at least to me, this feels pretty much like the Legion laptops that I have used. You could think of this as a slightly boring laptop but all the important boxes like a keyboard and touchpad, the screen, thermals and the performance are checked and I have always liked Lenovo's non-flashy but effective approach. So I'll have links to check this out in the video description, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.